Hi YouTube, I uh, just wanted to give anyone who's interested a quick look at our solar heated chicken coop. It's actually just our greenhouse, but we got some chickens this summer and we were trying to explore it as an option for keeping them warm over the winter. So just to give you a little bit of background, uh, it's about the middle of February right now. The temperature outside is about minus one, so it's not really cold. But uh, the temperature inside is actually around about plus 10, which is really great considering that it's an overcast day. Uh, about a week ago, we actually had temperatures around minus 8, and it was really sunny, and it got up to plus 20 degrees Celsius in this chicken coop. So it seems to work really well. So just uh, to give you a quick little look at the inside, uh, this is the, the nesting box for our chickens. We've only got four. Uh, two of them sleep on a roost in that bottom box, while another two actually sleep on the floor of that top one. We've got a bunch of insulating material, just sawdust and, and stuff like that, put in these grain sacks, just to give them a little bit of extra insulation. And uh, in the nighttime, we actually run this uh, forced air heater. It's a 1500 watt heater that we've got suspended from a beam in the roof just to keep it away from all the sawdust and stuff. We've got it run on a little timer, uh, which you can see by these gaps over the course of the night, it kicks in and out and just kind of gives the chickens that extra little bit of heat uh, for when the sun's not shining. Uh, we've also got a pretty good little compost pile made out of an old uh, dishwashing basin actually. And uh, the birds like to pick through that pretty good. And for their dust baths, we've got a, a little fish pan filled with black earth, and uh, it actually gets a, quite a bit of sunlight, so you can see they quite enjoy it. Three to four of them are, are in there right now getting a little wash. Uh, here's their little water bin and their feed tray, and the only other thing we've got done is a little uh, bit of sawdust put on the concrete floor just to help keep their feet warm. and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's working out pretty good for us so far. Uh, the greenhouse, just to give you the dimensions, is 8 feet long by 6 feet wide by you know, 7 or 8 feet high. Uh, we made it out of recycled windows that we managed to get from someone that had a, uh, a renovation project on the go. We ran out of windows, so the ceiling or roof is actually just this corrugated plastic. Uh, and that seems to work pretty well for shedding snow and stuff. Uh, I guess a few things that we would have done differently if, if we'd have thought about it is we don't have any real kind of insulating material around the windows. I did put a bit of plastic in a few spots, but I, I didn't, you know, complete it basically. So in the nighttime, if we didn't have that furnace or that heater, sorry, running, it would get pretty cold in here pretty fast. But uh, that little forced air heater actually seems to keep them warm. We've got this little uh, remote thermometer that we monitor the temperatures uh, from our house and uh, it usually stays up around five degrees Celsius with this thing running intermittently. I did ha actually have it set inside uh, one of these nesting boxes uh, a few times and it was like 16 or 18 degrees Celsius in there so the birds seem to stay pretty comfortable. Uh, we've actually still been getting eggs from them um, actually yeah, there's one right now that I need to collect. So yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good success. Uh, the other improvement I probably would have made is this is south for us. So we've actually got one of our uh, smaller walls facing south when really we should have had this you know big wide eight foot wall uh, facing south. but. That, that was more or less because of, of the way our land is uh, shaped. Our house is up that way, so we wanted the door facing the house. But that, that was actually a pretty, you know, it probably cuts down quite a bit of sunlight that we're not able to get. Anyway, I hope this uh, is useful to anyone who's interested in it. And I think it's a really great option for taking care of just a, a few birds over the winter. Thanks for watching.